Storage. Well, I know there's acid in the kitchen, so there's no reason to go there at the moment. Kind of see in the dark after a while. Help me. Help you, huh? Well, I don't know how to help you. Not at the moment, anyway. I don't know if there's something I could do for you. What's this? Cell area three. Storage. Sounded like something was coming. <sighs> I don't have many of those tender boxes left. I better stop doing that. Kitchen. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. Storage. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well-versed in worldly matters, and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room <laughs> is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Sounds a bit strange. Let there be enough time. Be careful or I'll do whatever it takes. Go insane. I'm losing it. Coming. He escaped. Where is he now? Something. Oh no, it's in there. Quickly. Man, stop losing your sanity. I need some help here. And you're not helping. Please tell me there's something to regain sanity. What the Is that guy dead? He looks rather dead. Oh, oil. My sanity is long gone now. Is this something? No. <sighs> I am not going to survive with this low level of sanity. Hey! Anybody! Help! Christ! I don't believe this! Why? I mean, why? What did I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be. Do I deserve this? It wasn't my fault. Why did he have to go in there? Don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. <sighs> oh, bother. 
wish I could just wait around momentarily so that my sanity would come back some. <laughs> but it's not. It's not at all coming back. If I see even one more of those things, I'm probably going to lose it. 4th of August, 1839. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment, I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this, as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. Hmm. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me. And he answered that things can be done, but at a price. Like what? What can be done? What price? Are you talking about killing all these people? Is, is that what you're saying? Is that the price? That would mean that that I am part of this, that I am part of the cause, which again, somewhat disheartening. Uh, well, I don't even have a direction to go at this point. All I know is there's a lot of these things down here. Speak of the devil. I hope that didn't call it. Can I move this bed against the door and maybe block its entrance? somewhere. I'm just not quite sure where. I don't know if I should try going outside or if I should try waiting in here. It comes for me. So good. If at the faintest where I'm heading to the kitchen. Did I ever get to the storage area? Cell area three. Storage. I want to find this storage area. Oh, Bother. Kitchen storage. This is where that thing was. Perhaps, perhaps this is of use. Is it like there was something? There's multiple people in here. One tight little room. Ugh. Not only that, but they were 
stuck in this room with that thing. Were they locked in here on purpose? Cell area four. Storage. Hmm, I want to check out this door. Nothing. Alright. Let's keep heading towards storage. It seems like the best course of action. We have. Ah! What's this? It's a flask of some sort. Perhaps to fill with acid. But. For what purpose? Burn through the locks? Which locks? I don't know which locks. That bothers me, because I know there's a couple of locks. Uh, I'm not quite sure where I'm going. Thank God, there's more of these. I can use all I can get. That's the locked door. So I'm guessing head back towards the kitchen is about the best option I can think of right now. That's probably the kitchen that way. It's over here. Hmm. The shadow. It's close now. Is it? Is that what's what's here? Hunting for everyone? Hunting for me? Are these things minions of the shadow? 